Cassandra, why don't you say move that bus? Bus driver, move that bus! There was this huge house in front of us, and I'm just like, wow. Like, I think you could maybe see that on my face. I was like, <sighs> Seeing the house was unbelievable in every majestic way you can see a house. I will never, ever, ever, till the day I die, ever forget that feeling. The shock and awe continues when they go inside. Oh my God, baby, look. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I've never seen a TV that big. Just things you see on, on Celebrity's House, on MTV Cribs. Don't take anything, man. I would say the house, like, more than four times the size it was. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> it was overwhelming. It's like, oh my gosh. It was, I guess you say, surreal. Now, nobody's seen it until now. You're going to be the first. Check out your new bedroom. like a princess in a huge mansion. <laughs> I remember going through it. It was so big that it was like shocking. It was a mansion. It was huge. It was really huge. <laughs> I had never seen a home like that, that size. I don't think ever in person. On behalf of Taylor Woodrow, we're pleased to let you know that we're going to be taking care of the mortgage as well. The home is that. Every time I walked away, I felt confident that these families really were in a better place, that they were truly appreciative, and it was just, you know, nothing but, you know, like we had done the right thing. With six bedrooms, a state-of-the-art kitchen, and a movie theater, it's almost triple the size of their old home. And it all makes for great TV. Our contractor ended up building basically the biggest house we've ever seen. But while the house may have changed dramatically in seven days, the family's dire circumstances remain the same. We didn't ask that they completely remodel our house and give us this huge mansion. It was an expensive house. Our first electric bill was like $2,200, which was way more than our mortgage ever was. And I about died. I was doing everything on my end to try to get out from underneath these horrendous bills. My mom was emotionally distressed about all of that, you know, the bills and like how we were gonna make it month to month. We had to shut down half of our house because, you know, if the electric bill is too high, what do you do? I could imagine their electric bill would probably triple, especially if these families were given pools or jacuzzis or specialty items, you know, that maybe they weren't expecting that. The light bulb for the movie theater was $900 alone. How is that even possible? And we got you guys computers for everyone in the house. Oh. Bills aren't the only problem. The very expensive contents of their home have also been televised nationwide, and it makes them a target. There was times when our power was cut off, and people would try to raid the house. I don't know if they thought we had money. I don't know if they just wanted everything in the house because they saw what was inside of it. People think we are rich. We've had people steal from us. People believe we have hidden money somewhere. There was a time that we were locking the doors, and as I go up to one of the doors, there's a man standing there with a hammer. And I just start screaming, like, this isn't real life, this is serious. I cannot tell you how many times the police were called for break-ins and people trying to get in. It was traumatic for me. I was trying to sell anything to just pay the electric bill. So I ended up getting a loan. We had a limit of 200,000 and we upped it to more. It was getting more stressful. Despite getting their house and everything inside it for free, the Oak Vast take out over $400,000 in loans just to keep it running. But they're in too deep. Of course I wanted to keep the house. I wanted to try every effort to do that. Eventually, the house sells for $540,000. Minus the multiple loans taken out, there's not much left to start over. I think I walked out with $8,000 of that house. I had to just basically say, that was a nice life. We took an offer and I just let it go. It was sad. I was sad. I was sad because I saw the toll that was taken on my mom and my family. Heartbreak for a Michigan family. They aren't alone. 
A Texas family which received an extreme makeover after Hurricane Ike now forced to sell the home at a big discount because they couldn't pay the taxes. It seemed on the surface like this wonderful altruistic experience being generously offered by ABC. Her dream home has become a nightmare. We've been evicted. ABC's viewers, of course, never got to see any follow-ups about the homes that were foreclosed upon after Extreme Makeover left. Navardans feel very fortunate. They know that they are not the only ones out there in a situation like this. Many of these homes had such exorbitant increased tax rates that the families couldn't pay them, and it added to their financial burden. The house has been up for sale for almost a year without any luck. I mean, the biggest thing was having to tell my kids that I lost their house. The extreme makeover home sits on the market. A strange twist to what was supposed to be a dream come true. Sometimes there are things that happen to people in life as a one-off event, and then sometimes there are things that continue to happen, problems that continue to arise. And, you know, we, we can't fix that kind of thing. You know, at some point, the show must go on. The show does go on making $500 million in ad revenue over the first two seasons alone. For ABC, it's the gift that keeps on giving. They are getting rich off of your story. If you will actually have your life and your family's financial position negatively impacted over the long term because of the one week they spent with you, from a corporate ethics point of view, it is their responsibility. I don't think they understand the repercussions of what they were doing. And I think they should take responsibility for that. We suffered great financial strain. We suffered great issues because of this. And it's not just seven days of a building of a house. Those seven days have impacted our life for the rest of our life. 